I went from condos to pops house on calls now bus routes and the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked out you know you're a comedian you know Mike and just uh uh changing the subject a little bit talking about bullying and everything like that I want to know what were your thoughts you know when you saw uh Chris Rock get slapped by Will Smith you know uh because it was a joke you know did you feel like that was bullying or what were your thoughts oh, when you was, saw that wait that was bullying at the, at the highest level you know, and we, I want to even go back to eighth grade. I remember I was, you know, I took education very serious. I know a lot. Of, and when I went to school, I mean, my goal was to get all A's. And I remember at the end of the school year, I remember I had all A's on my report card. And I think the word got around. I remember one time I was getting on a bus and some bully just sucker punched me because he found out I had all A's. Uh-huh. Sucker punched me while I was getting on the bus and it ran off. I remember that. So, you know, that was totally bully. You know, I mean... The thing about it is, like, I don't understand. I try to understand on Will Smith's point, like, where what made him do that. Yeah. You know, um, I've I've never been a believer in any anybody hitting somebody because you know I feel like if Chris Rock was uh, six five, two hundred fifty pounds, muscles, would he have did that? <laughs> Probably not, right? So that's nah. bullying. You bully somebody, you know, you could beat. Yeah. Period. You know what I mean. So he was definitely wrong. And but how you think you would have reacted if that was you? If you was Chris um, Rock in that position? Uh, yeah, I, would, I probably would did say what Chris Rock did. But one thing I would, I would went to another level of like you know following report and taking it to the next level. I wouldn't let him get away with it. I'll do it the American way. You know, American. Yeah, I would. Yes, you know, street this and that credibility. Yeah, nigga, when you forty five, fifty years old, nigga, all that shit, you go by the law. Yeah, yeah. I would have called the cops on the nigga. <laughs> you going to jail, motherfucker. Okay? You mean light skinned nigga in jail. On top of that, you know, you want to jail, then I'm going to sue you. Okay? Yeah. I'll yeah. make sure you're so broke, you have to move back with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air, motherfucker. You're going back to Uncle Phil's house. You and uh, Carlton going to be roommates again, my nigga. I would have I tried. Oh, That's how I would have went. And I'm, I'm hoping, you know, there would. Um, I mean, I, then I try to like understand. I try to have the brains of Will Smith. Try to see what, where this went to, how he got to this, you know. And I think I got close to where, and I could be wrong. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to think like what would make him do that. Yeah. You know. So and then we go back. Let's go back a few years with the um. Uh, when I think they were boycotting the Oscars when Chris Rock was hosting. Remember that. Uh-huh. You know, and then um, I think Chris said something like, um, I, I guess he was talking about. Like Jada wasn't invited or something. Right, yeah, right, yeah. wasn't invited. And, you know, it's like Rihanna Panties, I'm not, you're not invited or something like that. Like Rihanna's right. Panties, yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I, so I said, okay, okay, maybe he, what he's trying to say, like, like Jada is not good enough to be invited to that, to that war. Like she's not a great enough actress. You know what I mean? So, okay, you say you're saying my wife is not a great enough actress. Okay, so now we... Uh, and I, that's that probably the only thing I could think of. Like, you know, this guy been going hard on my wife for a long time, whatever. Yeah. You know, but still, regardless, in the American law, you cannot put your hands on people. Yeah, period. real talk. I mean, and, and that wasn't it because after that, we saw Dave Chappelle get attacked, you know, but they, they beat the hell out of that dude. I mean, but I did you think that happened. was real? You was there? I was there when it happened. It was weird, though. It was so yeah. weird. I ha- you know it's it's kind of like I was backstage and then like next thing you know it just I'm like huh, what the hell? it happened so fast yeah yeah you know so it just you know back America's full of copycatters yeah yeah America's full of so much you know and a lot of time when people look up to people and people do things and try to copycat them look at all these serial killers that copycat other serial killers you know so yeah. I mean I'm not saying whether it's real or not I mean that guy was probably just a copycat or looking for attention and he guys. I mean, he got his ass beat. He yeah. ended up with two left arms. I saw that nigga arms <laughs> when he was done. He definitely had two left arms. He was walking there. backwards. My yeah. Man. yeah, he was. He went. He was not needed and bow legged in yeah. the arms at the same time. Yeah, yeah, man. So I don't, I don't. But yeah, bad. Will Smith was wrong, and, and he's trying. You know, and, and I know after the whole thing, he tried to find a way to make it work. Work, but yeah, you smack, smack me in front of the whole world, man. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if I could forgive you for that. Yeah, real talk, man. I, I don't yeah, know. But you don't, you don't get it wrong. Chris, I got some fun. Yeah, <laughs> got something coming. Yeah, you got something okay, coming. okay. Yeah, he's he's gonna get back. Comedian, that's what we do, man. Yeah, yeah. you know, I I might not fight you in person, but I beat the shit out of you online, motherfucker. <laughs>